Hey there, this is my second video in the series Electric or Why So Many Guitars Electric Edition. Um, and the first one was my first electric guitar. This was not my second electric guitar. This was my third electric guitar. Now, don't hate me, but my second electric guitar was a 1972 Gibson Les Paul Custom that I bought from my friend, um, actually kind of a mentor of mine back in Indianapolis when I was a kid growing up. He was friends with my sister and a uh, very good guitar player named John Dinwiddie. And he had this Les Paul that he didn't like, so he sold it to me. And I found out shortly thereafter why he didn't like it. It was very difficult to play. It was kind of one of those, they, I think they used to call them fretless wonders back in the day. And um, it was kind of the reboot of the, of the Gibson Les Paul. And um, it just didn't play very good. It was really hard to bend. It was really heavy. And I started to really get into Lee Rittenauer, which is what you're hearing. That, that riff was a, from a Lee Rittenauer record. Um, and Larry Carlton and Robin Ford, because they were all L.A. session guitar players. And about that time, when I was in high school, I decided I want to move to Los Angeles and be a session guitar player. <laughs> Good luck, right? So, um, so I decided at the guitar store that I was uh, taking guitar lessons at, uh, and eventually would teach there, um, they had this this Ibanez on the wall, and I did an even trade the Gibson Les Paul for this guitar. Now. Actually, if you were to price these now, um, and I think I paid $300 for that Les Paul. If you were to price these now, th these would go for about $1,500, these Ibanez. This is before the John Schofield model. Um, it's, got the, it's got the butterfly pickups. You can't really see that very good, but they, the, the butterfly pickups. It's got the coil tap switch, which is kind of useless. Um, but this one is just it's like this is their idea of what a, a strat sounded like or something it's like one fourth the volume um, neck pick or bridge pickup yeah, pickup's not too bad I don't really have a good tone dial up right now I'm just going through a little teeny tiny uh, Vox amp right now but basically uh, this was this was my you know next guitar and this was after the lawsuit you see that they after the lawsuit they had to change the headstock and that was pretty much all they had to change they copied the body style of a 335, but then they decided to start making it their own. They, they, the, um, the little plate here, which actually is just, just screwed into the top. It's not even attached to this there. Um, and then they came up with their own um, tuner design, which was kind of cool. Um, it came with this little tool where you could actually tighten the tuner so they wouldn't move. Uh, that's usually not the reason why strings are going flat or sharp or whatever when you're playing. It's usually because of the windings or something like that, or maybe just kind of the angle of the headstock. However, th that was kind of a cool thing because you could really kind of clamp them down so it really has a good tight feel on it. They still work great. This is 100% original. I don't think I've made any changes to this, um, except maybe I think the strap pins are different. I don't think those are the original strap pins, if you can see that kind of a flying V strap pin or something. But anyway, so this this was my my third electric guitar and I bought this mainly because I was trying to be uh, I was trying to be um, a session guitar player and I thought this was the kind of guitar I needed to have because that's what all the guys were using. So so anyway this is uh, this is the reason for that guitar. And uh, I also have some more guitars that uh, I bought that I got rid of that you're gonna be mad at me for. I don't get rid of guitars anymore. Uh, and that part of the reason is because there are several that I got rid of that I wish I'd kept. Um, not necessarily because I loved them, but because they'd be worth so much more money now than what I paid for them, which is kind of true of most decently made vintage, vintage guitars. So, God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.